Can a eight box plugin sound good? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my humble YouTube channel and my humble studio, Warsaw Poland. I'm Paul. Good to see you again. Guys, Saverio from Hornet Plugins contacted me and asked me, would you review Magnus Mark III? This is our new limiter. As I have no experience actually with Hornet Plugins, of course, I know the company. I said yes, because this is suspiciously cheap. And this is the point of today's review. Can anything that cheap can be actually any good? So yes, Saverio gave me an NFR license. I promised him a review, but this is not a sponsored review. That's an honest review, guys. So actually, yep, I'm dying to hear it and compare it against my favorite Limitless. Let's go. Of course, if you think this channel is a cool place, if you like my vids and my studio, you can subscribe right here. You can support me somewhere here. You can like this vid and comment on it so that we ignite one more discussion. Thanks. Yes, for me, there's going to be a question, can anything that cheap is going to be any good? Because look at this, it's less than nine euro or nine dollars. And this is discounted from 25, which is ridiculously cheap. And I'm wondering what's behind Hornet that they can make things that cheap. I mean, there are cheap plug-in companies like Tone Boosters. I absolutely love them. This is one man army. I suppose that also Saverio is just one man army with maybe some collaborators. But this is simply a very small company, I guess, with costs of some workforce and office and stuff really reduced. Maybe that's the thing. But the main thing is, how does it sound? To test it out, I found out a song which I don't really like. I think the kick is, it's not mine. That's my, not my mix. The kick is not fully there. Also the dynamic range could be reworked a bit. There's actually some space for improvement. So running a limiter on it makes some sense. Let's say, and first I will play you as it is. Not a bad song, don't get me wrong, but surely it can be improved while mixing and mastering. Let's engage Hornet. Looks like this. This is a clipper and a limiter in one, which I already like because this is what I do all the time. I run my clipper, hard clipper, which is a standard clip by Sir Audio. And then I run limiter, which is usually limitless. Clipper plus limiter. Cool. The one thing that already gets me or doesn't get me is the interface GUI. Very simple, very cost efficient for sure. Very cheap, I would say. So this is probably one of the um, factors um, impacting the price of the plugin, but still the sound. Um, let's test the clipper first. I notice that I cannot press enter when I do the value. I have to click somewhere else on the screen so that the uh, uh, value changes. Would be cool. Hey, Saverio, when I said 8 dB of gain, enter, and it and it's there. That would be cool. Think about it. Can I s change it with mouse wheel? No. Also, that would be cool.
I also made a short run through soft clippers and they are okay. I like this tape most, worked kind of radical, but all of them worked very musical as well, which is a cool thing. I also have gain compensation. I can run Delta. Auto gain compensation is always more than welcome. Limiter. Let's put the limiter on. Let's make it crazy oversampled as well. What happens now? Okay, I may not be happy with uh, the interface or the way I click things here a bit. Maybe it can be improved. It's, it's really probably easy to improve, but mm, I did not expect it to sound that good, to be frank. It's versatile, definitely. And everything I click, it's more or less aggressive, smoother or a bit like harsh but under control and it's all all sounds good so huh. wow having sync for release like it's he's calculating milliseconds to beats automatically this is vital for any rhythmic contemporary music this is also very cool to have it here let's try to push it really hard now I really am officially uh, impressed. Saverio did not pay me a penny for this. He just gave me an NFR. <laughs> and mm, I'm quite afraid to do it, but I will duplicate the track and I'll try to treat it the same way with my usual mm, heart clipper and my usual limiter. Give me a second. Okay, guys, I think I made it. I tried to tweak them so they are maximum comparable. Uh, what I did on standard clip is that I set the threshold and output corresponding to the Hornet and then limitless. Uh, threshold is minus 10. Mm, it's, actually minus, uh, it's actually 11 gain on the plugin here, but this seems to give me the same reduction results with smooth algorithm on Limitless because Limitless can change the tonal character of the track using different styles. I'm fine with it because it does it very well. It changes the color, but I like it. Now I'm ready to compare Hornet Mark III and Standard Clip plus Limitless on the closest settings I could find. I like Magnus more. It's full bodied actually. Mm. It sounds better than my Limitless. And I'm pretty much in shock. I will try to change the algorithm for Limitless.
then a eight box plug-in sound good. Frankly, it sounds amazing. I mean, of course, I'm pushing it too hard to really test it out. Like this is a stress test for both limiters. And I know that Limitless is really very good. It's not like Limitless is bad. This analog sounds best for me because probably it saturates the signal as well. Mm, there's some soft saturation going on probably as this is called analog. Of course, it's a very quick test, but I like it. The only thing, ah, you know, let's sum the things up. You know what? I know what's the truth about me and Hornet plugins. I never took care to really get a closer look because of two things. They are suspiciously cheap for me, and I know some plugin companies that do cheap stuff that's awful, I'm not gonna name them. And also the GUIs were not really welcoming. But I have to tell you that these are serious tools, as I've just heard, and hopefully you too. And hey Saverio, if you hear this, and I suppose you do, you know what? Make your plugins a bit more expensive, but please do something to their GUIs. Make them a bit more modern, a bit more accessible. If this thing sounds so good, I think it's a good investment to expand, to level up the GUI and the user experience. And if you made it 50 euro, I would totally still recommend this limiter as a very, very good sounding one, very functional, very versatile. That's it for today, guys. And I'm adding Hornet definitely to my short list of my favorite boutique small plugin makers because I think still this is a small company. And you know what? I promise you, I will make a vid about my favorite small boutique plugin makers one day. Guys, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you.